And they are. Wow, what a piece. Uh, Gales. Re 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 Unido. Re Unido. Ah, Reino Unido. Sí, de Gales. 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 Sí, sí, hay muchos aquí y también sí, a la Sí, 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 me gusta. Gracias. You just asking where I was from. Gales, Wales, man. I'm from Wales. Come on. Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So we're here in Playa del Carmen. Hot, 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 folks. Hurricane season is here, so it's very humid. It's hard to breathe for me. Anyway, we're heading down to Tulum today. I am anyway. And I thought, why don't you come and join me? Because I'm gonna take the public transport here. Little things called Colic Devos. So if you imagine a little mini bus with, holds about 10 to 15 people in it. But they are very popular running up and down the coast here. And they're very cheap, very cheap way of getting about, you know. So uh, usually I'll be driving around, or Fabiola will be. But today I'm gonna get the local uh, transport down to Tulum. It takes about an hour. Uh, so yeah, come and join me to another little town. I'm gonna see a friend there. I've been working on some, I've been working on something with a friend down there. Let me just say that. And I'm gonna see him and pay him a little visit and say hello. So he's a graffiti artist and he prints, he does printing on clothing and stuff like that as well. So he's just upgraded his, his little factory. So I'm gonna go and check it out. So come and join me folks. I'm gonna leave the hot, hot playa and head to the hot, hot Tulum. So I just wanna add here that we are, we are walking from Central um, to, well, a street that's in Central called Avenida, Avenida Juarez, which just over the other side of that, near the highway, um, there's a little depot there for Colic Devos. So those, that depot there, I think mainly, it specifically just goes from Playa to Tulum up and down the coast like this, you know. But you have other Colic Devos within the town that take you to all different places, all different areas, and it's quite confusing to use if you're not used to them. They're just like, they've got written on the, on the front where they're going and stuff, but in like a pen. So it's, yeah, if you don't know the names of the areas or which direction they're going or whatever, it's, it, it's quite confusing to use the local ones. But for me today to go down to Tulum is quite simple. I just go down to this depot, get on a, on a collectivo and off we go. That should be, should be as simple as that. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, it's not known to be the most safest mode of transport. That's why it's so cheap, but it's every time I've been down, touch wood i'm gonna to touch a tree right now i've had no problems you know yeah some of the drivers are a little bit crazy but they need to get back and forth time is money here in a big way so yeah i just wanted to explain that that's where i'm gonna go i could walk straight up to the highway up constituentes which is closer to where i am and you can just hail them down with your hand you know you don't have to go to a depot as long as you're on the route they'll generally stop the ones that are running up and down the coast. Not too sure about the local ones. Maybe you have to be in specific places for those ones. Um, but the ones running up and down the coast will stop you if you're on the highway, if they've got room and they see you flagging it down. Some of them will even beep and let you know that they're coming. So I just wanted to explain that to you guys, okay? Anyways, we're on the way. <laughs> it's uh, very, very hot, folks. Very hot and humid. If I wasn't, if I was at the beach, I wouldn't be wearing a top, put it this way. But I'm uh, keeping myself half decent and keeping the seagulls away from me. All right, folks, come on. Here we go, here's one. You're not going to see the front of that, though. That's not a Colic Devo, that's more like a bus, to be honest. But they're the more local ones. But you do get Colic Devos as well. Anyway, this cool little bar here on the right. I love little places like this, the Palapa. Yeah, man. Anyways, hola. hola. Having to keep in the shade, man. Having to keep in the shade here. It's hot. Look at this little place. Cute, though. Seafood, little fish seafood place. Yeah. Anyway, vamos. And when we get to the um, the station here, the Colic Devo station, I'm not going to film too much in the in the 
in the Collectivo. There's nothing really to see, just a bunch of people sitting together going to Tulum. <laughs> um, and it's used, it's always full, they wait for, for wait for them until they're full. So I'm not gonna be getting my camera out in there and you know making everyone feel uncomfortable, no. But I'll film all the way up to and as soon as we get out. But yes, unless I feel like the need or I have the opportunity to, I will, but I'm not going to invade in people's privacy too much folks. Yeah, I haven't filmed a lot since being here to be honest with you. And when you stay somewhere, you live somewhere, it feels a little bit weird filming around a local area. I don't know, it's different to when you're traveling around. It's a bit strange, like, <laughs> anyway, I'm off. This beetle. Some nice little food places on the left here. Nice little food stalls. And we're just coming up to Juarez. This is Avenida Juarez. And then we're just gonna go one street further. Yeah. Very nice. And you know what? Here you've got all sorts on offer, man. You've got everything, like some nice fresh juice there. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? Like everything, todo. So that's Avenida Juarez. It's more like. So Fifth Avenue is the tourist central. It's like where you get all the gifts and souvenirs and it's all expensive and it's very nice, you know what I mean? Loads of nice restaurants and stuff. Whereas Juarez is like the more original high street, I would say. So it's more local, it's more of a local, it's got banks on there and it's um, got cheap clothes shops for local people, you know, like, so I quite often go there for little things if I want them, like flip-flops and stuff, because you get them at a way better price and you're supporting local shops, I hope. <laughs> So a lot of these places are owned by outsiders, you know, you think they're owned by Mexican people, but they're actually not, which is quite sad. So um, I'm, I'm always trying to support the local people, but quite often they're not, it's, uh, it's not the case. Anyway, let's crack on. Something else you get, you get some nice pieces of graffiti out of town as well. Ooh, I caught myself on there, look at this. Beautiful. When they are. Wow, what a piece. Uh, Gales. Re 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 Unido. Re Unido. Ah, Reino Unido. Sí, de Gales. 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 Sí, sí. sí, hay muchos aquí y también sí, a la Sí, 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 me gusta. Gracias. He was just asking where I was from. Gales. Wales, man. I'm from Wales. Come on. Doesn't he know? Anyway, another piece. He was just telling me there's more on the way I'm going, and I know because I've, I've walked this many times, but fair play to him, he was just telling me, keep filming kind of thing. So look, just behind me here. All this whole wall here. Hola. <laughs> there you go, nice policeman. Oof. That is, well, no comment. I'm gonna make a video, I think, about the police at some point. I might have done already, if you've seen this. If you have, I'll put it in the comments below, but had a bit of an incident with the police here and it made me a little bit wary of them to be honest with you so it's nice to see a one walking by and gave me a peace sign nice of him very nice anyway we're not far now folks we're nearly there so that's where we are avenida 30 30 uno sur one south that's the street going up so we're on one south and 30th avenue heading west i think it is <laughs> Anyway, it's just up here. I think we're gonna go past a lovely little, like original house here now, with a beautiful piece of graffiti. And uh, usually there's a nice little fruit and veg stall, very local, uh, just across the road from it. And there's also a woman who sells food from her little house here. I'm gonna try and film it without being in their face, do you know what I mean? I don't like it, so let's see what I can get. So we're just coming up to the fruit and veg place on the, this place here. That's a little stall. But look at these little places with the PT stall. A guy that I know, Poderoso, he did this piece here. Very talented guy from Venezuela, uh, from, sorry, Veracruz. <laughs> Veracruz. And check that little place out, man. I love that place. I love that. Check it out. Now we are just down the road, folks. Two minutes away from the uh, station, so. Not long. Man, I'm feeling very hot, folks. Honestly, I keep saying it, but the humidity now is ridic, as we would say in the UK. Oof. So these are the Colic Devos. 
these are the actual colectivos like I say we make these into camper vans in the UK but we'd turn that into a camper van rather than a, a minibus to take people about it's amazing isn't it different countries have different uses and needs for the same vehicle anyway we've got the uh, station is just here now it's not too far right there you see them little white things and then we're gonna we're just gonna jump on one from there they just get in the queue and you just get on it's just like a chain get on if there's one there and they're just constant anyway let's go little juice place in case you want a fresh juice for the ride you see they think of everything now do you know what i mean here we go look see just loads of them loads 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 let's go vamos we just head straight down jump in a van end up in Tulum hopefully de los cruzados <laughs> right, let's go you are not gonna guess what folks you are not gonna guess what <laughs> i forgot my phone ah! um oh man i've forgotten my phone so i'm gonna have to go all the way back folks <laughs> it's like a half an hour walk oh my god what a nightmare and it looks like the rain's coming in actually we're due a storm i'm not sure i'm gonna get down there to be honest with you because stormy weather and the highway don't bond well sorry very very low there the highway doesn't bond well with rain very slippery surfaces dodgy drivers slippery surfaces not the best idea to do so let's see we might have to put this off look at the clouds you see this is coming in fast and it does promise storms over the weekend so maybe this happened for a reason folks maybe i haven't gotten on this collective collectivo for a reason saving me anyway vamos this is the little place i was telling you about where the woman sells stuff from her house she just opens up the door here when she's got stuff for sale and she sells plants look at that today there's tamales i mean she's probably been doing that for years years folks <laughs> and it's still going now do you know what i mean amazing there's a little place one more time beautiful that little place there i do love walking around here i do it's uh still got its cultural side do you know what i mean shop folks a nice little pet shop very very nicely done anyway we're just walking along 30th 30 nice piece of graffiti over there you see it and a nice place for tacos just across the way anyway i just want to say if you follow me you might have noticed i don't do many videos walking around here like this talking to the camera and because i haven't been doing that for the last six months or so really it's made me realize how much unwanted attention it gives me, you know? People still stare at people that are filming themselves like this. So it, yeah, it's made me realize, it's taken me back a little step of being confident in front of the, uh, in front of people again, it's weird. Yeah, lots of, lots of people staring and it's kind of making me feel like I don't want to film because I'm invading in their privacy. I guess that's respect as well, maybe you could look at it that way. But anyway, folks, we're heading back. Look at these clouds, man. This looks like a storm, you know. And the wind is coming in also. The beach is that way, so that's the way generally the storms come in as well. Let's see, let's see. Hopefully, I'm gagging for some rain, I'm not gonna lie. It hasn't rained for months here, months. Since I've been here, like hardly at all. So, fingers crossed we get a little bit of rain. Come on, come on. Folks, 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 folks. I feel rain. I feel rain. Oh my God. Do you know what? I haven't felt rain for months, like I've just said. I know people in the UK now, they're going to be like, what the f are you on about? We've had it for months and months. Don't talk about you want rain. I'm, I'm not lying. I want rain. Apart from the fact that it's going to stop me from going to Tulum today, I think. Let's see. I feel rain, folks. It's refreshing here. Maybe it's time to get in the pool with the rain. Because that 
that is refreshing. Oh, come on, really rain. It's just a little bit of rain right now, but just give me some proper rain, por favor. Folks, we're back at the station here and it's rained a little bit and the roads, they clog up with water very fast, very easily. So that's why I was a bit, mm, shall we go or not? But I'm going to go down anyways, we're here now. But yeah, the, uh, the sewerage system or whatever, the water system here is not geared up for rain. And they get quite heavy rain here, so that's not a good thing. Anyway, vamos. There we are. About a 45 minute ride there. Woo. We've arrived in Tulum and it was sweaty as hell in that man. There was no AC or anything. The thing is with Collectivos, you might get one with AC, you might not. You never know. <laughs> it's hit or miss. I've usually been quite lucky. But anyways, we got here. And now I need to get a second Collectivo to a place called Las Palmas. I believe the station is just down here. So I'm um, not quite sure exactly where but I need to get it down there somewhere. So we're gonna head on down to Chinatown, folks. We'll potentially stop at a little bar here that I'm fairly familiar with to wet the old whisker before we head on to see my friend. Let's see, let's see. It's just down here on the way. So it would be rude not to, eh, I think. So we're gonna head into this little place here called Sol, Sole. This is where I first met my friend from, from Tulum here. Sorry, loads of hairs all over this. Anyway, I'm just going to wet the whisker in here, I reckon. What a lovely little time I had in there, folks. A quick drink before heading to Las Palmas, where we need to head to now. Oof, I don't have my sunglasses on and my eyes struggle with the sun, folks. But I believe we just need to go over there. Let's check it out, shall we? Vamos! Okay, folks, so we found the station. We're just waiting to get a Collectivo to where we need to go. I think it's a station for many different places. So I'm just waiting for the one to go to Las Palmas. They're not very cooperative sometimes. They can't, well, I'm not saying they're, they're not cooperative. It's just you ask a question and they just kind of nod and they know what you want. You know, they just keep it very simple, I think, basically. So I think I'm in the right place. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So let's just wait a few minutes and see how things go. We are here almost every 15 minutes. 15 minutes, perfecto. Gracias. I see you next time. Gracias, amigo. Adios. Okay, folks, so we've literally just got into the Collectivo. Very nice guy that's driven me here. He's just dropped me right exactly where my friend's house is. Like, I couldn't get any closer, man. Amazing. Anyway, you've got to put sometimes some confidence. You've got, to, you've got to allow these people to... What's the word I'm trying to think of? Have faith. Have faith in things. Because I honestly thought I wasn't going to get so close then. I thought I was just going to have to walk about a kilometre to, to where I was going to get to, but... He's dropped me right exactly where I need to be. Anyway, we're in a local area, folks, here called Las Palmas. Very local area of Tulum. And uh, my friend's house is just around the corner here, so I'm going to hook up with him for a little while now. I don't know how he's going to feel about me filming in there, but he has just, like I say, he's he's made his um, his printing factory home factory uh, larger so 
Anyway, folks, I don't know how people feel about me having a camera here, to be honest, because it is very local. And right now, people don't know that I have a friend here. So, anyways, he's just down here. Vamos. Looks like we've got some street dogs here. Ay, ay, ay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Rustling a few feathers. Hola, amigo. Okay, so I've had instructions to head to the local tienda shop for cerveza, beers. There's a tiny little shop just there, but apparently they don't have cerveza. It's just right there, very local, selling. Not a lot, to be honest, but there's just one just outside of the gate here, so we're gonna head there. Vamos, folks, vamos. Oh my God, it's hot as hell. Look at this lovely little beetle coming up. Fresh coconut water right there, folks. Maybe I should get one. Actually, if I was on the way back, I would, but I have to go to the shop first, so I'd have to carry it and all of that, and it's, it's a bit of a blag, to be honest. But anyway, we're just here, leaving the uh, gated community. You can see just in the front here, there's the gate. It's a gated community that is never gated. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, there's a store, just there's a couple of stores there. I think it's one of these. That's the gate that keeps the gated community safe that is never gated because the gates are actually off the hinges anyway they're doing a lot of work here folks as you can see the road here is um kind of unfinished and all that kind of thing so this is the back end of Tulum parts of Tulum that most people would never visit basically it's not near the beach so no one wants to know anyway I think this is it mini super see the sign for beers so uh yes yeah. also got a nice little place there cooking some food carne meat this place sells the beer and that place over there is more like a general store so um yeah man this is a more this is a developing area it's the back end of Tulum but many projects going on and many people buying here so um it's hugely up and coming here do you know what I mean so um this is this is what happens though, like there's a lot when when a lot of things are getting built, there's a lot of road works and there's a lot of uh, building work going on. So a lot of it can look a bit unpleasurable, do you know what I mean? Um, well, my friend lives here and he lives in that community right there, which has been here for a long time. Anyway, I'm coming up to my time here. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. like that we have six cold fresh beers folks in the arse end of nowhere Woohoo! anyway yeah i'll just come to see my friend for a little while he's um he's done a bit of he's done a bit of work for me while i've been here on my projects yeah there's a few things i've been doing here in mexico working with people and this is one of the guys so um i'm just happy to see him while i'm down here uh yes anyways folks Let's go and sink a couple of beers with me and me go. The gates. The gates. <laughs> Hello bro. <laughs> you saw me filming my beers folks. I was caught, caught. But at least he was laughing and having it as a joke. He wasn't serio, serious, which is a good thing. And the thing is, man, what I like about these local communities here, um, everyone's very friendly, you know? If you dumped someone here that wasn't very familiar with Mexico and they listened to all of the stories about Mexico, they'd probably be a little bit scared around here because it looks very local. Ah, there's a camper van there. For sale, 66,000 pesos, 666 numerology folks numerology 
that's another subject. But yeah, everyone's just very friendly around here, you know. And it's the more touristic places, to be honest with you, that have the more, as far as my experiences, the most trouble. The local areas, they just keep themselves to themselves. Except for the dogs. Let's see if these dogs come back out. And we've also got uh, an elderly woman here dragging a little like trolley around and she's shouting something which means she's got something for sale you hear that i don't know aborini and i'm not quite sure what that is but the dogs are here here we go are you ready aborini. hola hola tal? bien yeah. muy bien yeah. muy bien gracias ¿Qué, qué, es, ¿Qué es Saborinis? Sí. Ah, Freeze, like Mr. Freeze. Ah, sí, muy bien, muy bien. Gracias, eh? Gracias. Ah, she's selling like Mr. Freezes, like frozen, frozen fruit juices, basically. Fair play, man, fair play. Hola, perdón, perdón. Uno cacahuate. No, no hay cacahuate. No, cacahuate. No. Uh, ¿Quieres? Uh, ¿qué? Este uh, mango con chamoy. Mango con chamoy. Okay. Este es coco. Ok. ¿Cu ¿Cuánto? A 15. 15. Ok, dos mango y... Sí. Sí, por favor. Gracias. Gracias. Todo. Bueno, Perfecto. Gracias. ¿Sí? sí. Gracias, gracias. eh. Gracias. Sí. Okay, I don't know how much of that you saw because I had to hold everything, but I've just bought a couple of those. They're like frozen... Frozen things. Anyways, let's go and have these. GoPro is packed in, all of the batteries have gone, so I'm on my phone here. Um, <laughs> we've had a great time, we've had an amazing time together. I've just met my friends and um, I thought the last Colic Devo was at 7pm. I trusted the, uh, the information I was given and uh, but there's nothing here man. I've been waiting for a long time and it's getting dark and there's no taxis. I'm trying to call taxis down, there's nothing. So I just saw this taxi here right there, just down there, he pulled up and he was like, no, no, I'm uh, just calling off for the night, I'm just, I'm, I'm finishing for the night. <laughs> and then a guy that we've just been hanging out with in, the, in uh, my friend's place, he just pulls up on a little moped, he's pulled up on a little scooter like this, and he's going to take me into the centre, take me down, so I'm just waiting for him to pick me up, I'm just waiting for him to pick me up. He just came behind me, here he is, he's coming now, I can see him. Anyway, I'm going to have to go, folks. If I can get some footage on my phone, I will. But he's just coming here now. He's, he is here waiting for me. He is my saviour. This guy is my saviour. <laughs> bro. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, bro. Life saver, man. 